welcome friends welcome to the fifth session of 5g fundamentals today we are going to discuss about the basics of uh, modulation and coding scheme used in 5g along with the resource block calculation so we'll be having a quick overview on these two topics let's get ahead so modulation and coding scheme in 5g so what is modulation so modulation is how many bits you can transfer per symbol so here symbol refers to resource element so how many bits you are transferring per resource symbol that is made understood by the modulation scheme so here we are having supporting modulation schemes as qpsk 16 qam 64 qam and 256 qam so two bits are transferred in qpsk four bits are transferred in uh, 6, 6, 16 qam similarly eight bits are transferred uh, further so this kind of two raised to the power of n that is the formula for calculating how many bits are transferred so this is modulation and what is coding code rate so coding scheme comes from code rate So and the spectral efficiency is also calculated using the tables with code rate and modulation schemes, modulation order. Okay, so uh, as you can see the ta table here mentioned, table five point one. So here you can see the modulation order. The thing I said two raised to the power of n. So this is two raised to the power of n. This is n. Two is n. Four is n. Six is n. So two raised to the power of two. That means how many bits are getting transferred? You can calculate. So here code rate is also calculated and spectral efficiency is also calculated. This is one MCS index table for 64 QAM. So similarly, there are uh, 3GPP specifications have defined three different tables for PDSCH of PDSCH means data carrying channel. So there are three tables defined. One for 64 QAM that is present here. One is 256 QAM and one is low spectral efficiency 64 QAM. So uh, like uh, when the radio conditions are good, so you are using 256 QAM table, and uh, when the radio conditions are okay, okay, then you are using uh, so good 256 QAM. Okay, okay, 64 QAM table is being used. and for ultra low latency ur llc you are using low spectral efficiency 64 qam table so there are three tab tables defined so here the mentioned table is for 64 qam and you can see that the mcs index which is offered here uh, let's come back to the mcs index later let's first understand what is code rate code rate it is the ratio of useful bits transferred to the total bits transferred okay so let's say you are having a total of 10 bits capacity to be transferred in this frame or in this uh, format so you are transferring 10 bits but there are some crc bits there are some coding bits there are some forward error correction bits and other bits which are not as of uh, user data kind of thing these are signaling kind of thing so the user data divided by user data plus these redundant bits or uh, coding bits is the your code rate so what is mcs mcs is number of useful bits transferred in one symbol okay so how is mcs bit bit uh, calculated mcs bit is calculated by first it is calculated by g node b so it is provided by g node b and what basis it is calculated on the basis of your radio conditions and blur so the two important factors radio conditions and blur uh, make the calculation the g node b makes the calculation based on these tables the table mentioned on the right side of the ppt so this is your table so there are uh, uh, 31 mcs index 31 mcs index or uh, 29 30 and 31 are reserved 
rest are used so we can use this mcs table and with the help of uh, so how which coding index uh, which mcs index to used that is decided by g node b and on the basis of your uh, radio conditions and blur block error rate so i think it's done for modulation and coding scheme main points are the modulation scheme supported what is coding rate what is mcs how many uh, uh, mcs indexes are there how it is calculated provided by whom and what are the three tables so these are the three tables mentioned in the downside 64 qam to 56 qam and low spectral efficiency so please remember low spectral efficiency ultra low latency we are having one separate table okay just like this table only but the calculation is a bit different okay so you can have it from internet let's get towards the resource block calculation so as we know that in 5g there is a concept of uh, uh, variable sub carrier spacing that is i have mentioned scs sub carrier spacing you can see everywhere in the documents scs is mentioned so variable it is variable okay so let's do the calculation of resource block bandwidth since the scs is variable resource black uh, resource block bandwidth is also variable so for the example so we are taking 15 kilohertz as we take in 4g also for 4g is also having 15 kilohertz of sub carrier spacing so here 15 into 12 uh, sub carriers so sub carriers are fixed 12 so whatever sub carrier uh, sub carrier spacing you are using like 15 in lte so 15 into 12 that is 180 kilohertz the same resource block bandwidth is in 4g also similarly when you are varying your uh, sub carrier spacing to 30 kilohertz so 30 into 12 that is 360 kilohertz so when someone asks what is the uh, resource block bandwidth for uh, sub carrier spacing of uh, 60 kilohertz okay so here it is 60 kilohertz then 60 into 12 whatever comes is your resource block bandwidth simple calculation like lte it was fixed 180 kilohertz but for 5g it is variable okay so same calculation can be done for 60 120 and 240 sub carrier spacing so um a resource block rbs calculation okay so this was the bandwidth calculation now it is your number of prbs calculation uh, let's say so uh, first thing to note there is a, a minimum and maximum bandwidth table so on the basis of which the guard band is also varied minimum bandwidth maximum bandwidth based on which based on this table there is a guard bandwidth also stated in those table okay i can share all the calculation also uh, please uh, ping me on my number if you know or just comment on this video i'll try to get back to you with the table okay so let's get towards the example how your number of prbs are calculated let's say the bandwidth is 100 megahertz as mentioned here 100 megahertz and 30 kilohertz of sub carrier spacing so here 30 kilohertz leads to your prb bandwidth of resource block bandwidth of 360 kilohertz okay guard band is so these three values are taken from uh, your table or these are example okay so these are table uh, taken from one table now let's do the calculation the calculation is bandwidth into 10 to the power of 3 to convert it into uh, kilohertz <coughs> minus 2 into 845 so 845 is your guard band guard band at the start and guard band at the end you can note down the uh, formula as in uh, uh, band bandwidth bandwidth unit conversion minus 2 into guard period divided by your resource block bandwidth 
here it is 360 kilohertz so this is the actual formula so this gives 273 prbs similarly you can do the calculation for other subcarrier spacing and other bandwidth also okay is it clear so i think that's all for today we can have uh, other calculations also the calculations are very basic if you are uh, you, if you want some more examples please ping me and please like and subscribe my channel for uh, further videos so that i keep motivated myself for the videos thank you bye bye